can you tell us now why was the army not fighting in 1990? You went to the president, you told him, Mr. President, the army is not fighting. The rebels are rapidly advancing. You need to resign. Is there any reason why the army wasn't fighting? I just don't know. Because uh, they're getting their full support from us. And if the rebel can leave Butu and come all the way to Basa and Kirisberg, I think they were only interested in looting people's property. And at that point, I threw up my battalion commander, commanding general, and probably, uh, I don't know. So that's why it made me to say, look, please let us resign. My soldiers are now fighting to my expectation. It's my right to brief the president, to tell him the truth, the honest truth, to be sincere and honest with him. And that's why I did. And, and, and I would have been killed in the process. But thank God, I have to leave. How true is it that you lost your command and authority at that time? The president wasn't listening to you. The commanding general at the time wasn't listening to you and instructions to the men on the front had a different channel that didn't involve you. And so because of that, you felt there was no place for you and you had to leave. No, I just explained to you the reason I left. Uh, they were not fighting to my expectation, not me alone to the entire Liberian people. I'll go on the radio, Mr. Chief of Staff, the rebel are coming, I'll say, oh, well, we, we, I would lie just to, to say well, they, they will, will cut, uh, cont, uh, uh, contain the, 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 the army. And the people were advancing. The soldiers were receiving their uh, uh, allowance, the sub, uh, supplies, and I kept lying to the Liberian people, oh, we'll contain the people, they will contain the people. And so at that point now, a tire line to the Liberian people, so I, I just went to him to tell him. 